Hello everybody, it's Jacob from Wedge Me This here. Today is going to be another episode of the $90 6 and 8 styled videos. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to go the $90 6 and 8. Um, no pass line today. None. So if you wanted to shoot, you'd have to incorporate that. Um, but $90 6 and 8, and that's going to win 105. Um, we're going to turn right around then once we get our 105. And we're going to play a $100 iron cross. And I'll show that to you when we get there. So this is a, this is a very interesting way to play because um, you should have a lot of hits once you get your $90 or once you get your six and eight satisfied, starting with thousand dollar bankroll again. Um, but once you get your six and eight satisfied, uh, once you get a hit on there, after that, you're essentially playing every roll that is in a seven. So, Pretty, pretty good. Just got to get that first hit in. All right, here we go. Coming out, box numbers are off. And we have a seven. Okay, should have been on the line, right? Doesn't matter for us right now. And a nine. Okay, here we go. We're working now. We need a six or an eight. And then we'll go to the $100 iron cross. There's the eight right there, six deuce. Okay, so this is going to win 105. All right, so a hundred dollar iron cross is going to look like this. So you are actually five dollars profitable no matter what happens right here, um, because we have a hundred dollars at risk versus the hundred and five we won. All right, so you got twenty five, thirty, thirty, and then fifteen. All that together is a hundred dollars. So if we roll a seven right here, we're still five dollars up on the shooter because we won one oh five. So. At this point, we have uh, 30 combinations of dice that are winners versus six combinations that are losers, and we're playing for free. We're playing on profit. So let's see what happens. Been a full. And we're just going to collect every hit. We're not going to press. We'll do that um, in the next round, or we're just going to collect. We're just going to see how many collections we end up getting. You got to replace the field, obviously, if you hit the five, six, or the eight. All right, there's a five. So we're going to win $35. Going to lose here. $35. Replace the field, 15. Rack up 20. We're just going to keep on going like this on this round, and then the next round we'll show some more parts of it. Back another five. So guys, I'm just gonna keep doing this. So $35, we're gonna replace the field. Here we go. We're just racking up. I don't know what we've made so far, but you know, we're probably nearing 50 bucks, 60 bucks or something. Playing for free. There's an eight, six deuce. Playing all on profit. That's another $20 net. We're going to net 20. We're going to make 35, but lose the field. Daddy. Let's get to sit here and collect. Daddy. And the nine. Okay, that's the point. Daddy, you smack him. No. $15 win. My, yeah. my five-year-old just asked if I could smack him. <laughs> all right. We're going to leave it working here, guys, because it's all profit today. So everything's working. We're just going to try to keep winning. And there's a nine. New point is nine, so we're gonna win 15 on the field. So again, once you get past the six and eight on this version, once you get that hit, you're just playing and you every roll is gonna be a winner uh, until you get the ugly number, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice just always having a winner. And there's a seven now. All right, so that whole sequence was pretty good. Made a good little chunk there. I have no idea. We're going to trade one of these stacks of red in for a black. All right, add a black chip here. Pretty good. Not bad. All right, $90, six and eight. Here we go. So this way is uh, somewhat probably my favorite, um, especially once you incorporate some pressing in. But this. It's because I like the iron cross because I like the idea 
of having all the probability. So here we go, box numbers are off. And we gotta come out seven. Box numbers are still off. We got aces. All right, we're still off. We got a seven, all right. So th this is uh, for the world betters are killing it right now. And a nine, here we go. Five, four, nine. We'll whip it up here. Now all we need is a six or eight to start our cross. Hopefully we get that and we got a nine, so that's the point. So this could be trying right here. You get some rolls like this where five, six rolls in and nothing yet. Right, there's a 10, new point. Six, four, 10. All right, come on, six or eight, let's go. And seven up. So that was brutal because there were so many rolls there. We had, I don't know how many rolls we went in, seven rolls, something like that, and we didn't win. And that can be really, really tough. We're gonna drop $180. But we, I mean, even if we would have been playing something else, we wouldn't have really won anything because it was all horn numbers and sevens and stuff. And one point hit. So here we go. Box numbers are off. That's just a tough outcome. That's just a tough run of dice. Um, most of the table is going to lose on that one. There's going to be a few guys that play the don't and the horn that are probably did okay there. Um, but other than that, most of the rest of the table is losing on that one. There's a three. And the six and eight can disappear on y'all. It can. It can get a, like oh, there's a seven. Oh, that's brutal. But it, it absolutely can. I've had it happen before where it just you just don't roll. 180. We're going to show the pressing version of the cross here if we ever get our chance. We're not even getting a hit on the 6 and 8. Oh, there's an 8 on the come out. 5 tray. Now we got to get a hit in. And a 6. There we go. Hard 6. That was necessary for us because we were getting smoked. But in that whole sequence, besides that point eight, it's not like we had other numbers, right? We wouldn't have had a win either way. 15. Okay, so this time we're going to press. And so what we're going to do on the press is you can, I, I like to do it one of two ways. Either I like to press all the field hits or I like to press all the box hits. Either way, it's about 50-50 proposition so it's not a huge deal which way you choose you do have five more dollars if you use the box hits as the presses or the collections it just depends on how you do it for this run we'll press all the field hits spread out press whatever it is you want to do you, you choose the problem with pressing the six and eight with the field is you've got to press 12 or you're gonna to have to drop some extra money probably so we'll use pressing the field this run and then we'll go the other way. Oh, well, we will not actually. Seven out. So we made uh, $5 on that, which that's kind of a crappy part of it. Um, if you end up just making $5, roll the seven. But this is one of those things that I, I, I get frustrated with craps players about is... You don't really know when the seven's gonna come. So there's no reason to really be worried about that. And I know you get it a lot where people are like, man, it always happens to me that way. It doesn't always happen to you that way. You don't always have your don't four and tens knocked off. You don't always, you know, it, the point, your don't point doesn't always get hit. But I hear that a lot. I hear that kind of stuff a lot. There's a six on the come out. It happens that way at the same rate as anything else. And a three, one, two, three. Six, there we go. All right, we're gonna at least make it through a spot here and try to get this cross going. We didn't get to use the field press, so we're gonna still try that, show that. So what I mean by that is every hit in the field that we end up with here, we're going to press. 
All right, again, we're in a free profit mode here. Made 105, got 100 at risk. Everything's gonna be working in this case. We don't have a reason to be off now. And a 10, all right, so there's our first field hit. We're gonna press it or spread out or, or however it is you like to do it. So when you get it, the one thing I don't suggest is just pressing the field. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Now you can just press the iron cross. That does make sense. Or you can spread out to the other numbers. No matter which way you do it, it all makes sense. Besides the field. All right, so box numbers are still working. Field is obviously working. Here we go. And we have a five deuce seven. Right now, all the guys are... See, you should have been off. No, it's all the same. Now that's the one problem with pressing every field hit is if you just get all field hits, you don't make any extra money because you've put it all back in the game. All right, so the field didn't last very long. It's fine, it's just uh, how it's running. This time, we're gonna use the box numbers as our pressing wins and we're gonna keep the field. And a seven, I'll come up. Remember when it's just the six and eight, we don't work to come out. Um, there's not really a reason for that either, because uh, it really doesn't make a difference. The, the, the only reasoning I have why we do it when we've already made it to profit is because we're already in profit. No matter what happens, we're gonna make money. Back to back fives. And that's why I do it that way. A 12. The horn numbers are actually pretty hot in this run. And dang, three horn numbers in a row. Three, 12, two. The horn parlay just paid off big for whoever did that. And then a 10 on the end. So if you were playing the don't, everything just went right for you there. And a seven, ouch. Ouch, gotta love that don't play. That don't just rocked it on that one. 180, dropping it. Here we go. This video hasn't been all that successful, but it really has nothing to do with the strategy. It just has to do with that the sevens are coming so quickly. And there's a six on the come out. We just had, we really haven't had, the first roll was about it. And a six, right bank, all right, five, one. So here we go. Now this time we're gonna use the box numbers as the pressing. So whenever we hit a box number, we're gonna press. Spread out, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna add money to the game. All right, here we go, everything's working. See, this is the difference, this is what I mean. When it was just the six and eight, um, even though it doesn't really make a difference on how the seven comes, we weren't in profit yet. At this point, we're in profit on the shooter, so it, we can just turn it on. And we have all the numbers except for the ugly one. So everything's working. That's my reasoning behind that, which could be flawed, especially since we just rolled a seven. But when you're off or on, I'm, I'm gonna say this, being off or on on the craps table, it doesn't matter, <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, you're, the seven is still gonna come whenever the seven comes. I need to get some red chips. So it's still gonna come at whatever rate, at whatever roll, whatever it's gonna come at. If you happen to be off on that okay. roll, congratulations. Hey, hey, I'm trying to do a video. So again, I know People have their own thoughts on that, but from a mathematical standpoint, it doesn't make a difference. All right, box numbers are off. And a 10, six four. And so again, we've rolled some come out sixes and eights and we've rolled some come out sevens. So it doesn't, that's, 
I don't really want to get into that right now, but it really doesn't make any difference. And there's a five, four, one. And a seven. See, if we were working or not working in that whole sequence, the seven still came when it came. It's just a tough part of the game. It's just a very brutal part of the game. That sometimes the seven just comes enough that you don't win if you're on the light side. We're dropping 180. And a seven. It's just the seven is just really hot in this whole sequence. This whole group of rolls. It's just smoking hot. 415, and that's that's a that's an argument for being versatile in your strategy, versatile in the way you play. Sometimes you might have to go over to the don't. Sometimes you might have to hop some sevens, hard ten. You know, so th that's all part of it. Easy ten, back to back tens. That's nice. A four. So like. Not only are we hitting a, a, an extra amount of sevens, but we're not really hitting sixes and eights, which is just part of it. I, and I know I keep saying that, but I want that to be understood is that, especially playing light side, especially playing light side, there's a six, four, 10. If the seven is just coming quite often, if it's just a little hotter than normal, it's really going to burn you. It is really going to torture you. Six, four, ten. Right now, the ten is smoking hot. Three, one, four. That was not a seven, guys. That one was a four. It rolled on me. And an eight. Wow. So all those rolls. I don't know how many rolls it's been. Probably ten rolls. We finally rolled a, rolled a winner. And it has almost a third of the probability. The six and eight do almost a third that's just that's the nature of what's going on and uh, believe it or not understanding that understanding the nature of the game and the math of the game it, and the in the the point that a lot of people don't understand that is actually a reason why people lose because the expectation that those should just hit it should just happen and see right here, boom, four, three, seven. Was that out of line? No, not, not at all. It, it's just the way it went down. If, if that would have been reversed, like, so let's say we would have hit the eight or six or whatever we hit early in that run and then had all those collections before the seven. I mean, it was still, it would have still worked out to the same amount of rolls. It's just what sequence they came in. It's really all it is. The vast majority of craps is what sequence do the winners and losers come in? 516. And that's when, when you get that understanding, when you understand that the sequence of when they come and go, and, and when, when, when you gain that as a player, when you grow to there as a player, that's when you'll start realizing that playing both sides of the board is, is your best way to play. Because that eliminates a lot of that. Six, deuce, eight. That eliminates a lot of having to hit the right sequence. All right, let's see if we, we haven't even had a, a single hit on the Iron Cross. And it's not really because it hasn't been there. It's just each time we've got to this point, the next roll has been a seven. Four, six, four, ten. All right, so the way we've decided, remember, we're going to press the box hits. So this is a collection. Here we go. Four, one, five. Okay, so here we go. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to press the $20. So you're still going to have to replace the field. So when it's 35, you're going to have to press you're going to press the 20. Let's pick the 4 up for 20. And a 6. Okay, that's the point. That's also going to win $20 net. It nets $20. It wins 35, but you lose the field. All right? So let's get some white chips. 
So we're going to press 18 on the six. Let's do that. All right, here we go. Everything's still working. Now, if you're a frequency player, you might want to be off here or off a couple rolls. But we're just going to work. 46. It's one of our press numbers, so that's nice. Um, so what did we have? 35 and 21, 56. All right, and remember, and then we've got to add the 15 back. So let's just drop it out of here. That way we can press how we want to press here. Collect a dollar. Five, there we go. That's a $70 winner. Minus the 15 in the field. It's going to win 55. I'm going to get the 9 and the 10. And this, uh, I'm going to turn my 4 into a quarter. All right, we're, we're doing pretty well here. We need some winners. There's a 5. $70 winner. Remember, this is still a press. 55 after you lose the field. Let's take this to 60. That way we know what it's looking like. Field to a quarter. Um, and I'm going to go 40 and 40 on the 4 and 10. Now, at some point here, you probably should start collecting or have a point where you say, okay, I'm going to regress down to 160 or something like that. But let's rock it on. Hard 10. Very nice. Okay, so this is not a 5, 6, or 8 hit. So we're going to collect all of this. So that's 80 here for $2. I'm going to drop $2 for 80. And then a quarter there. So this is all a collection. Here we go. And a five. Okay, so this is a press. So right here, we're going to go in 70 minus 25. That's a $45 net. 45 here. Press our six to 90. And we got a 617. In it, that wasn't a three, guys. That was a seven. But, so as you can see, how it could go real quick. You could really build up real quick. Um, and obviously you might want to adjust how you're collecting, but if you're choosing to press all the box hits, all the iron cross box hits, the five, six, and eight hits, and collect the rest, you might you're gonna you know have a chance to do really good. So we had we had over three hundred dollars out there, um, pressed up money. It was winning for us. It wasn't like we weren't winning. We were winning. Everything was a profit hit that we took. Remember, because we had after the hundred and five dollar win. From the six and eight, you're in profit. So let's see where we're at. One, two, three, four. Roughly $500. Um, after our terrible start where the sequencing of the sevens just was crushing us, that one run got half of our money back. And we were down to about one more roll. So that's not terrible. Um, I, again, we could have pulled down that other 300 maybe. There, there was other things we could have done there, obviously. Collected a little more maybe. I, But... The idea was we were showing what we were showing. And it worked out just fine. I mean, again, guys, there's going to be bad runs of dice that go against your strategy, no matter what strategy you use. No matter how you look at craps. Even if you're a five-count player, if you keep getting to the third count and rolling a seven, you're not going to win. So, um, again, it, it's all especially light side when you're playing light side sequencing really matters um, dark side it does a little bit too if you have a lot of come out sevens come out elevens you're going to lose but once you got a point the sequencing doesn't matter as much as long as you're going to play box numbers to offset some of the the don'ts getting knocked off but either way um like i said the iron cross six and eight so we're doing a 90 dollars six and eight dropping it down to a hundred dollar iron cross with one hit um, overall, we weren't all that successful today. Really only had that one good run um, at the end there. But if you watch the video and you take the video for what actually happened, we didn't really, our, our strategy never really had a lot of opportunities to be successful because 
the six and eights just didn't come that often for us. And that's a huge part of what you're doing here. If you don't roll that six and eight, it's going to be expensive. So anyways, guys, thank you for your time. This is Jacob from Wager Me This.